Hello, today we're going to be making farfalle or bow tie pasta with fontina cheese and porcini mushrooms, a recipe from Antonio's cookbook 100 Pasta Recipes. It's been a little while since we made a video. I don't know how long, but it's been a little while. So uh, we're back. We're excited to put this out, and hopefully this is a nice, quick, easy dish that's going to turn out well. Okay, to make this dish, we're going to need some bow tie pasta or farfalle, if I don't say that correctly, some fontina cheese, some Parmesan cheese, crushed tomato, basil, porcini mushroom, onion, and butter. Okay, just a quick word about the mushrooms. You can use shiitake mushrooms for this. You can use fresh porcini mushrooms. We didn't really have fresh uh, porcinis available to us, and so we had dry. And so we began by soaking these in water for about 20 minutes or so. Uh, the next step is we're going to heat the butter and fry the onions at a low heat until they're kind of a nice golden brown. So we'll go ahead and get that started. Remember this is going to be a low heat. We'll let the butter melt first and then we'll start frying our onions. Okay, while well, we're waiting for our butter to melt and it's just about there, we are going to go ahead and get our pasta boiling. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. We have a pasta bowl of uh, water Going off to the side, we added a generous amount of salt to that. We'll set that aside. And now our butter is just about melted. You can see that. And then we're going to go ahead and add our onions and fry those. And again, you want a very low heat. You definitely don't want to burn your onions. So. If you like the smell of melted butter and onions cooking, you came to the right place. It smells delicious. Okay, so while our onions are cooking, just a little side note, this is a dish that really doesn't have any meat with it. If you do want some meat, you might be able to do something on the side, like meatballs or something like that. But if you don't want any meat, um, there's still a lot of protein in this dish. Protein in the mushrooms and protein in the cheese. Okay, so now that our onions are just about done, or they are done, we're going to add our mushrooms, and we're going to fry those for two minutes. Get those out of there. And so we'll go ahead and do that. Man, that smells good. Well, I can't tell you how really good this... Uh, this aroma is coming out of our pan with the mushrooms, the onions, and the butter. Uh, it's a shame you can't uh, smell it through YouTube, but I will tell you this. If you want to smell it, you better start cooking it because it's delicious. <laughs> oh my God, it smells delicious, rather. It does. It really smells good. Mm. Okay, and so we've um, fried our mushrooms for two minutes now. So the next step is we're going to go ahead and add the crushed tomato. And that. We'll set that aside, and then we're going to add our basil to that as well, and we're going to be frying that for five minutes. Okay, so we've cooked this for just about five minutes now. It's coming together very, very nicely. It looks delicious. We're going to add a little bit of salt and pepper. I guess you kind of just do that to taste. We have a little bit of salt and pepper there. All right. Mix that in a little bit. Okay, the next step is to add the fontina cheese. So just go ahead and dump that in there. Add that to our sauce. Okay, so we're mixing this in until the cheese gets nice and melted. It looks like that's just about there. And that Fontina cheese is a very soft cheese. It does seem to melt very, very well. Okay, as I'm mixing this in, our pasta is done. So in just a moment, we'll be adding that. Okay, so now that our sauce is done, we're going to add our farfella or bow tie pasta. It never stops to amaze me how many of Antonio's dishes 
turn out so creamy and well without adding any cream. So this is really nice. And so often his meals, his recipes are very simple, so you don't have to be intimidated by them. Very simple dishes that anyone can make. And I think just about every one we've done has turned out great and we've loved it. Okay, we're going to go ahead and serve that up now that it's done. Put a little Parmesan cheese on top and we'll do a little taste test. Okay, just before we do our taste test, I'd just like to mention that uh, if you recall, one of our last videos was on our Nacchino. Well, that's been aging for a little while now, and it just seems like every time we sample it, it just keeps getting better and better. So we're going to go ahead and do an update on that very shortly uh, and let you know how that's going on. Uh, and then we'll get to our taste test now. So as you can see the finished product, it looks fantastic. We went ahead and dished it up and we added some Parmesan to it. And let's see how it turned out. That is really, really tasty. Yeah. The porcina mushrooms in there. Mmm. You can taste it all the flavors. Mmm. We can taste the cheese. That sauce is very creamy. And Antonio, you did it again. Mmm. He never disappoints. Mmm. And so, till next time, we'll say goodbye, and hopefully we'll see you soon. And, as always, I'm going to keep eating.